Well, this weekend, the historic Upper St. Anthony Falls Lock and Dam will once again open to visitor traffic, but in a new way. It's been two years since any traffic on the water navigated through the Lock and Dam. The facility remains closed to boaters, but as Rachel Slavic found out, the public will still be able to take in the scenic views. For two years, the activity around the Upper St. Anthony Falls Lock and Dam has been limited to the rushing water of the Mississippi. Very quiet. After its closure, Lockmaster Mike DeRush's workload all but dropped to a weekly visit. It's kind of sad in a way because we used to get a lot of people that go through here. The first thing usually people do when they come down, they get to the rail and they just kind of go. That solitude will change significantly starting this weekend when the locks will once again open to the public. So now you get a chance to come out and actually see it and get on it. This is the upper lock gate. With the help of the National Park Service, visitors can get a unique look at the facility seven days a week. When you actually look at it, you're like, oh, that's really big. Keeping this public space is really important. If you look at the bricks along the top, you can see they're perfectly flat. Park rangers like Dan Dressler will provide a tour highlighting the history of St. Anthony Falls and also the infrastructure. The history of this very unique lock and dam on the river. It's far and away the largest lift of any lock and dam on the river itself. Few areas are off limits with stops on the outer lock wall and access to the miter gates, which will still occasionally open for maintenance. Locks and dams are really interesting engineering structures. And while its fate was sealed two years ago, the hope is new visitors create a new function for a piece of Minneapolis history. It is kind of a treasure. It's kind of like a jewel in the middle of the city. Now, those, those tours actually started last summer as part of a pilot program, but it was so successful that they decided to bring it back as a seasonal attraction. Now, it will be open starting this Sunday, rain or shine, and in that observation deck right there behind me, they have this nice layout, kind of a picture display of all the history. That visitor center is open from 9.30 to 5 daily. The tours that are on the actual lock and dam are at 11, 1, and 3. It is first come, first serve, and the best part, it's all free. That is great. All right, Rachel, thank you.